What does the Bible say about depression and anxiety? Bible, depression, PDF, Quayus, Bible verses. What does the Bible say about depression and anxiety? The Bible is a powerful source of healing and comfort for those struggling with depression and anxiety. Throughout its pages, the Bible offers a wealth of wisdom and insight into how God can help us endure these difficult times. From comforting words of encouragement to tangible advice on how to overcome these challenges, the Bible provides hope and strength to those suffering from depression and anxiety. It is a reminder that no matter how dark our days may seem, we can always find solace in God's love and grace. What does the Bible say about depression and anxiety? Depression and anxiety are common mental health issues that can be challenging to manage. The Bible offers a unique perspective on depression and anxiety, providing insight and wisdom to help those dealing with these mental health issues. This blog will discuss what the Bible says about depression and anxiety, including Bible verses to combat anxiety and depression, unique facts about anxiety and depression in the Bible, medical approaches to treating anxiety and depression, physical ways to overcome anxiety and depression, spiritual factors that impact anxiety and depression, biblical examples of dealing with anxiety and depression, what the church can do to help with anxiety and depression, mental health in the Bible, how God can help with anxiety and depression, Lifeway resources for dealing with anxiety and depression, Bible verses to help with anxiety and depression, anxiety and depression, a biblical reflection, the physical and mental impact of anxiety and depression, and what the Bible says about anxiety and depression. Bible verses to combat anxiety and depression The Bible is full of verses that can help to combat anxiety and depression. Psalm 34 18 says, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. This verse reminds us that God is near to those who are struggling, and He is always ready to provide comfort and peace. Philippians 4 6-7 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. 7 And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. These verses remind us that prayer is a powerful tool that can help to reduce anxiety and increase peace. Unique facts about anxiety and depression in the Bible The Bible contains many references to anxiety and depression. In 1 Samuel 1 15-16, we read about the character Hannah who suffered from depression. In the book of Job, we read about Job's struggle with anxiety. In both cases, we see examples of God providing comfort and hope to those who are struggling. In the book of Psalms, we read about David's struggles with depression and anxiety. In Psalm 42 6, we read, My soul is in deep anguish. How long, O Lord, how long? These verses remind us that God understands our struggles and is there to provide comfort. Medical approaches to treating anxiety and depression in addition to the spiritual and emotional support that the Bible offers. There are also medical approaches to treating anxiety and depression. Many anxiety and depression medications are available, which can be helpful in treating the symptoms of these conditions. In addition, there are also therapies and counseling sessions that can help to address the underlying causes of anxiety and depression. It is important to speak with a doctor or mental health professional to determine the best approach for treating these conditions. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy CBT, CBT CBT is a type of psychotherapy that focuses on addressing negative thoughts, feelings and behaviors in order to bring about positive changes. The goal of CBT is to help people learn how to better manage their symptoms and cope with difficult situations. Medication, antidepressants, anxiolytics, and other psychiatric medications are commonly used to treat depression and anxiety. Medication can help reduce symptoms, but it's important to discuss potential side effects with your doctor before starting any new medication. Mindfulness-based stress reduction, MBSR. MBSR is a form of meditation that focuses on helping people become aware of the present moment and their thoughts and feelings. Through mindfulness, people can become better able to recognize and manage their symptoms. Exercise. Exercise can help reduce symptoms of depression and anxiety by releasing endorphins and other hormones that can improve mood and reduce stress. Regular physical activity can also help improve sleep and overall well-being. Talk therapy. Talking to a mental health professional can help to identify and address the underlying causes of depression and anxiety. This type of therapy can also help people learn new coping skills and develop healthier ways of managing symptoms. Nutrition. Eating a well-balanced diet can help to reduce symptoms of depression and anxiety. Eating foods that are high in vitamins and minerals, such as fruits and vegetables, can help to improve mood and energy levels. Supplements. Certain vitamins, minerals, and herbal supplements can help to reduce symptoms of depression and anxiety. It's important to speak to a doctor or pharmacist before taking any supplements, as some can interact with medications or have other side effects. Physical ways to overcome anxiety and depression Physical activity is an important part of managing anxiety and depression. Exercise releases endorphins, which can help to reduce stress and improve mood. In addition, it is important to get plenty of sleep, as sleep deprivation can worsen symptoms of anxiety and depression. 
Eating a healthy diet and avoiding alcohol and drugs can also help to reduce symptoms of anxiety and depression. Spiritual factors that impact anxiety and depression The Bible is filled with stories of people who face difficult times and were able to overcome them with God's help. It is important to remember that God is always with us, no matter what we are going through. It can be helpful to pray and to seek comfort in scripture. In addition, it is important to remember that God is in control and that He has a plan for our lives. Biblical examples of dealing with anxiety and depression The Bible provides numerous examples of people who faced anxiety and depression and were able to overcome them. The book of Job is a great example, as we see Job struggling with depression and anxiety, but ultimately being restored by God. In the book of Daniel, we read about Daniel facing anxiety and depression, but being able to turn to God for strength. In the New Testament, we read about Paul's struggles with depression and anxiety, but his faith in God sustained him. David, described in Psalm 42 and 43, David was a king of Israel who, was greatly distressed and depressed, 2 Samuel 16 1-4. He cried out to God, asking why he had forsaken him. Elijah, the prophet Elijah experienced a deep depression after his success in confronting King Ahab and his prophets of Baal, 1 Kings 18-19. He felt so discouraged and helpless that he asked God to take his life. Job, Job's story is one of profound suffering and depression. In the book of Job, he laments his suffering and questions why God has afflicted him. Jeremiah, Jeremiah was a prophet of God who experienced great depression and sorrow. He was often distressed and discouraged by the fact that the people of Israel refused to accept God's words. Hannah, Hannah was a woman who was so desperate for a child that she prayed to God and wept bitterly, described in 1 Samuel 1. God answered her prayer and she was overjoyed, but her depression and sorrow lingered. Jonah, after fleeing from God's commandment to preach to Nineveh, Jonah was thrown into the sea and swallowed by a great fish. He was so depressed in the belly of the fish that he asked God to take his life. Mary, Mary, the mother of Jesus, was deeply troubled and sorrowful during the crucifixion of her son. She mourned and wept at the foot of the cross. Peter, Peter, one of the apostles of Jesus, experienced great distress and sorrow after denying Jesus three times. He wept bitterly and was so overwhelmed with guilt that he left the courtyard. What the church can do to help with anxiety and depression The church can be a great source of support for those dealing with anxiety and depression. Churches can provide counseling and support groups, as well as educational resources and prayer. In addition, churches can offer practical help, such as providing meals, transportation, and childcare. Community outreach. Participating in community outreach activities is a great way to stay connected with other members of the church and to help those in need. This can help to reduce depression by providing a sense of purpose, and by providing a sense of belonging and connection to others. Prayer groups. Prayer groups provide a space for members of the church to come together to share their struggles, worries and concerns in an environment of support and understanding. This provides a sense of connection and can help to prevent and cure depression. Bible study. Attending Bible study can help to reduce depression by providing a sense of purpose, and by providing insight into how to handle difficult situations. Worship services. Attending worship services can be beneficial to those experiencing depression. It provides an opportunity to connect with God and to be reminded of His presence and love. Support groups. Joining a support group at the church can be beneficial to those experiencing depression. It provides an opportunity to share stories and experiences with others who understand. Counseling. Counseling services at the church can provide individuals with a safe space to discuss their feelings and to find solutions to their problems. Social gatherings. Participating in social gatherings at the church can help to reduce depression by providing an opportunity to connect with others and to have fun. Volunteering. Volunteering for church activities can be a great way to stay connected to other members of the church and to help those in need. It can provide a sense of purpose and fulfillment. God bless Greg. Father, grandfather, minister, missionary, deacon, elder, author, welcome to our family. View all posts.